What's up guys, Bayou here and about to move out. I'm a bit late but I'm gonna go attend the Basement Garage gig and if you guys are gonna miss it, don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm gonna take some uh, interviews with some of the bands there. Some of some really awesome bands have really come back from the grave, so to speak. Uh, we've got Slow Status, uh, Parallel Dimensions also are playing today. So it's gonna be fun, so if you guys are gonna miss it, don't worry. Like I said, I've got your back, I'll take you there. So stay blessed, uh, stay tuned, man. Hey, so what's up guys, I've just arrived at the venue and uh, thankfully I see a lot of cars in the parking lot and a lot of people as well. So hopefully it's gonna be a good gig and really looking forward to this because you know we don't get to uh, you know let loose uh, that often these days so it's gonna be fun so let's go. Alright and now we have still status here with us. I mean guys it has been a while hasn't it it's been like what six years now since you guys have last played Andy how does it feel to be playing after six years man uh, I'm looking forward to it and I'm so pumped now <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all right Ivor how do you feel uh, it's a kind of a mixed emotion of the six years we back together as a team as a band uh, especially to be in this uh, in this uh, kind of uh, environment that we have, I mean, all the metal heads are here, and we can't wait to, you know, to just head bang and march again after six years of being together. It's 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 been a while. Yeah, loving the beard, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I can see that there's a bit of a change in the lineup here. So, guys, can you just introduce yourselves? I mean, I know Larry and I know Ed, uh, but can Hi, I'm Edward. <laughs> I'm just a session member. <laughs> Alright, he's just helping out. But uh, Larry, how does it feel to be playing bass? I mean, you haven't played bass in a while as well, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, it feels great. It feels an honor to be, be part of this band, which inspired me musically. And playing bass for them, it's like, what a joy. Yeah. So I'm stoked. Edward. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I That's guess. It. <laughs> and Ro, how do you feel uh, playing with this band? And uh, I, like you said earlier in our conversation, that this is like your first uh, time playing in a metal band, right? Yeah, yeah. So how 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 do you feel about it? And uh, any expectations about how the gig is gonna go? Uh, it it first of all, it's it's been a blessing to meet these guys because they are in the faith in Christ Jesus and. Uh, and metal is one of my passion. I really love to play metal, especially for God. It's, it's more powerful. It's more, you know, it's, it's amazing. So it's it's nice. It's an awesome feeling, and I hope that uh, this gig will just uh, show our talent that God has given us, and you know, and give glory to God. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Man, let's have. Uh, let I'll see you guys inside. <laughs> Let's have a good gig, all right? Uh, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna be headbanging to uh, to your guys' songs, and let's just have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
here, man. Yeah. What are we trying to do? But head coach, huh? That was it. That was just an awesome set by Parallel Dimensions. I'm gonna try to talk to Runkar a bit if he's willing. Hold up a bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Runkar, man, that was just phenomenal, man. Uh, that was just such a good set. How do you feel like getting back on stage and doing what you love the most? Man, it feels, it feels great, man. You know, it's been uh, six long years. And in between the six long years, I, I mean, I've had uh, practice uh, jam sessions with a, quite a few bands, but then uh, not right. And it uh, brings back old memories, and I'm just glad I can do it again, you know? Because uh, you guys did not, don't know this, I almost lost my voice back in uh, 2015. Accident happened in 2013, and I almost lost my voice because I pushed myself. Because of uh, my bike accident, I have a scar. You know, my vocal cords got dropped, got traumatized, and I do not, you know, rest my voice enough. So yeah, it's actually great, man. It's, yeah, I just my, finally, it's a, it's a small space, but it's good. It's good. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, and hoping to uh, hear some new music from you guys soon. Hope. Yeah, yeah. You guys will hear new music once very soon, very soon. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Thank you, thank you man.